Detective, good afternoon. If you raise your right hand. Detective, do you swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Please have a seat. Detective, I'm going to ask you to please state your name for the record, spell your last name, please, and then we'll get started. Detective Gary Sanders, S-A-N-D-E-R-S. -E Thank you. Mr. Nelson, your witness. Thank you, Gary. Good afternoon, Detective Sanders. Good afternoon. What do you do for a living? I'm a detective with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department. And how long have you been employed by the Pierce County Sheriff's Department? In August, it'll be 15 years. Um, in, in a kind of verbal resume format, can you just give us a rundown of your career path in the Sheriff's Department and your educational background? No. Um, I was hired by the Sheriff's Department in 2000, August of 2000. I uh, went to the Basic Law Enforcement Academy. Did about four years of patrol in the city of Lakewood, which we contracted with at that time. After that time in 2004, I went and uh, began to be an investigator in the juvenile section, which is basically kind of detective work, but you're dealing strictly with uh, juvenile suspects. And then in 2007, I was promoted to detective and have been a detective since. And what have your job assignments been as a detective? First, when I first got promoted, I was in the fraud unit, and then I moved to the sex offender reporting unit, and then uh, I was in the special assault unit. And where are you currently assigned? I'm currently in the robbery, uh, robbery burglary unit. I just moved there about two months ago. Okay. Um, in 2011, what was your assignment? I was in the special assault unit. And did you, well, let me back up. What kind of cases do you investigate being part of the special assault unit? Special assault unit, we deal primarily with sexual assault, uh, child abuse, eh. and then also I'm on a homicide team, so I dealt with homicides also. Okay. Were you assigned um, a particular case involving the defendant, Stephen Powell, in 2011 <coughs> or, or earlier? Actually, earlier. I, I began that probably about December of 2009. Okay. And um, at some point after you were assigned this investigation, uh, did you become familiar with the defendant's residence? Yes, I did. And do you recall what the address of that residence was? Would it Gosh. help you to take a look at your report? Yes, it, it would. I know it's off 94th Avenue, Court East, but the exact house numbers, I'm not. Detective, I'm going to hand you what's been marked as Exhibits 17, 20, 23, 24, and 41. Okay. Um, can you take a look at those and tell me what those are, please? They are all reports authored by myself. And uh, at the time you write a report, do you put in an incident address? Yes, I do. And did you do that in this particular case? Yes, I did. What's the incident address contained in your report? 18615 94th Avenue, Court East. And what city is that located in? In Puyallup. Okay. Is it actually in the city or is it an unincorporated Pierce County? It's an unincorporated Pierce County, but it's con it has a Puyallup address. Okay. And that's in the state of Washington? Yes, sir. Um, so let me interrupt you a second. Jurors, um, on occasion, we'll allow um, the witness to refresh their recollection and prefer them to testify from memory, but we'll allow them to look at a writing to refresh their recollection, and that's what we're doing with this officer this time. Mr. Nelson, sorry. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, can you describe for the jury the defendant's residence at that time on 94th? Um, it was the house that sat on the corner. It was a corner house. It was a large home, uh, a quadrant homes, which are known for their big, big, uh, spacious living, I guess it would be. Um, rather large, two-story, had a two-car attached garage. Um, and I think it was maybe about four or five bedrooms um, with bonus room. It was, it was a rather large home. And 
how tightly packed in were the homes in the neighborhood? Uh, they're pretty close, uh, probably within 20 to 30 feet from each other. Okay. Um, and the defendant, the person that, that lived in that house on 94th, do you see him in the courtroom today? I do. What's he wearing? Uh, he's wearing a white and I think maybe gray striped shirt, button up. Your Honor, I'd like the record to reflect that the officers identified the defendant. Thank you. Um, now, as it relates specifically to this case, did you assist in the service of a search warrant on August 25th, 2011 at the defendant's residence? Yes, I did. And was there a, quite a bit of evidence collected from the house? Quite, yes. And I, were there things like computers and disks and paper documents, <clears throat> that sort of thing? Yes. Um, in particular, um, are you familiar with a disk that was retrieved that led to the current charge of possession of depictions of minors engaged in sexually, excuse me, sexually explicit conduct? Yes, I am. Um, are you the one that actually recovered that disk? I did not on that day, no. Okay. Uh, do you know where exactly inside the house it was recovered? In uh, the defendant's bedroom. Okay. And can you describe <clears throat> inside the residence where the defendant's bedroom was? As you came in the front door, you could go either into like a study or go into the living room, which led into the kitchen, or you could go upstairs. And upstairs, you went up the stairs, and then it was kind of a long hallway. And at the very back of the house, it was a rather large master bedroom with closet, master bath, and that was uh, the defendant's bedroom. Okay. Um. <coughs> Once the, the disc that resulted in the current charges occurring was recovered, where did that go? Initially, it went with uh, West Valley Police Department back to Utah with them. And did you become aware at some point that there was a potential criminal investigation for you to take charge of in Pierce County as a result of this disc and material? Yes. And who made you aware of that? Uh, I believe it was Detective Maxwell and uh, also his sergeant at the time, Bo Grabowski. <coughs> okay. I'm sorry, Bo, could you restate that? Bo, I think it was Bo Bowski, uh, however you, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> okay. And Oh, sorry. Um, And Detective Sanders, once you uh, received this information from West Valley City, did you go through the disk of materials that they provided you? After um, writing a search warrant to do that, I did. Okay. And did you then review the disk? Yes, I did. Did you do that by yourself or with somebody else? Uh, I believe at that time I did it with uh, Detective Sergeant Bird. Okay. And also uh, Detective Maxwell, I believe, was there at some point to help. And the material that you reviewed on this disc, did you alter it in any way? <clears throat> no, I did not. Um, were there, was, was this disc organized in, into folders? Yes, it was. And were there some particular fol folders that became of interest to your investigation? Yes, there was. And were the three folders titled Taking Bath 1, Taking Bath 2, and Open Window and Back House? Yes, it was. Um, have, did you copy those folders onto a disk? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to show you what's been marked as State's Exhibit 16. Uh, do you recognize that item? Yes, I do. And what is that? It's a copy of the disk. And is that your writing on it? That is not. I believe it's um, one of the forensics officers because I utilize their equipment. Okay. Um, you have to keep your voice up a little bit. Okay. Thank you. Do you want to maybe pull the mic? Yes. Towards you? I'll right. pull it closer. My Thank apologies. Um, <coughs> and the, the items contained on Exhibit 16, these are identical copies of what was contained on the original disc? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, I'd offer State's Exhibit 16. Okay. Mr. Curry. Sorry, no. 16 is admitted without objection. Permission to publish, Your Honor? 
yes. Is it queued up or will it take you a while to queue it up? It will take just a couple seconds here. <coughs> Detective, what I'm doing here is opening this folder, and I, up on the screen, um, can you see that? Yes, I can. And what are the folders, or what are the folder names up on the screen from uh, Exhibit 16? Open window and back house, taking bath one, and taking bath two. Detective, just in general, um, without get, getting into the specifics in each folder, can you describe generally what these images appear to be? It, there are images of someone looking through a, a window, and then on, I know, within the distance in the window in the house, there's a bathroom um, that it's capturing either um, individuals either in, in the bath going to the bathroom, changing clothes, things like of that nature that you do in the bathroom. Okay, did they appear to be photos that were taken or did it appear to be like, video captures that were extracted from uh, a movie file? And, yes, I believe like it was videotaped and then broken down into JPEG files to slow it down, I guess. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do, detective, is I'm gonna open up the folder identified as uh, open window and back house and the first item is image 49 and can you tell us what that shows uh, it looks like it's just the back side of a female you can see what appears to be on the left side is maybe like a half wall um, and then it's the bathroom door looking in Detective, I'm going to move to exhibit 50, or excuse me, image 50 on the disc. What does that show? At that point, you can kind of see, I believe it's the toilet there, and it looks like someone's sitting on the toilet. Now 51. Again, a toilet, um, the same female with her back to us, and then a younger female sitting on the toilet. 52. Again, uh, same thing, same female with the back, and same young child sitting on the bathtub. I mean, a toilet. And now 53. Um, at that point, uh, same, same two individuals. She's sitting on the toilet, and I'm not sure if she's maybe wiping. And now 54. Same thing as she's using the restroom. And I've gone through 55 and 56, and now 57. What did those show? Same thing, just process of using the restroom. And then 58 and 59. Again, the same thing, she, um, mm -hmm. different stages of use in the restroom. And I've gone from 59 to 67. What did those show? Looks like it's as though she's wiping using toilet paper to. Detective have gone through to 100. All and at, the numerical order. What did those images show? Uh, the individual, the young female, putting on underwear. And 
Well, now, Detective, I've gone from 100 to 146. Uh, what did those images show? Uh, the same young female looks like she's putting on her pajama bottoms. Were there some images that repeated during that sequence? I believe there was a couple, yes. Okay. And now I'm on to 147. What does that show? I believe it's back at where it's recycling as she's putting on her underwear again. And Detective, I've started up with 175, and I'll go ahead and, and press forward from 175. Are there, I've gone from 175 to 190. What did those images depict? It's, it appears that it's looping, or basically the same images of her with her uh, putting her underwear on and just kind of looping over and over and, and focused on her genitalia area. And do the images that you've described as looping, do they appear to be repeats of screen captures from the same video? Yes. And is there a particular focus from 175 to 190? Um, the same midsection area, genitalia area. And, and to be clear, from 175 to 190, is is her vaginal area exposed or is it covered? It's well, it's exposed, but her foot's kind of blocking it. Okay. And now, Detective, uh, Exhibit 194 is up on the screen. What does that show? I think that point is another young female, and at this point, it was her older sister in the image. Uh, you can see her face, and she's again using the restroom. Detective, what I'll do is go from 194 through 210. Just in general, what did those images show? Again, using the restroom, photos of it focused on the genitalia area. And now I've got exhibit, or excuse me, image 211 from exhibit 16 up on the screen. What does that show? Uh, I believe that's the older sister, and it's zoomed in on her, on her front. And now, Detective, we're on Exhibit 230, or excuse me, Photo 230 from Exhibit 16. What does that show? It's re-looped on some of the images of the younger sister using the restroom, and then there were some pictures of the older sister also in the restroom. Now, Detective, I've gone from 230 to 316. In general, what do those images show? They show images we've seen before, but looping through them as she puts on her underwear, puts on her, puts her uh, pajama bottoms back on, and then utilizing the restroom. Okay. I'd ask you to speak up a little bit. I don't think the mics, I don't think the mics on or working. I'm not. Sorry. It well, might be myself. Is that better? Problem earlier with it. I get, I get to speak. I'm sorry. I'll okay. speak louder. Okay. My apologies. Thank you. Um, exhibit, on Exhibit 16, now we're on image 317 of the uh, previously identified folder, the open window and back house folder. What does exhibit, or excuse me, image 317 on Exhibit 16 show? This one's of the older sister, and now she's using the restroom. What I'm going to do, Detective, is go through from 316 onwards.
We've gone all the way up to image 484. In general, what do those images show? I chose the older sister using the restroom and then focusing on her genitalia as she either starts to pull up her underwear or and, and she's putting them back on. And now from image 485 onward. It's again looping back through. I should say it's, it's 45 to 510. Is that looping back through the, the older daughter? Yes. And now, Detective, uh, I'm on exhibit, or excuse me, image 1084 on exhibit 16 in the open uh, window folder. What does 1084 show? I believe um, to the left is the younger sister in her pajamas, and then I'm thinking. It might be either the older sister or the mother on the right-hand side. Oh, it's the older sister. Now, Detective, I've gone from image 1084 through image 1268. In general, what did those images show? Primarily, it showed the older sister, which is a t-shirt on, uh, no undergarments, and then as she puts on her underwear, um, and, it, and you can see at first it kind of focuses on her face a little bit, then zooms down to her genitalia area as that's exposed. And now from 1269 onward, <coughs> these subsequent images to 1269 repeats of the, the previous images we've seen? Yes, they are. Again, looping. And this is in the neighborhood of image 1420 to 30. When you say looping, that's what you're. Yeah, describing. it's just repeating this. Well, <clears throat> you can see the images with her without any underwear on, and that's the part that's being and, repeated. And detective, the, the the images that you described as looping. <clears throat> is there any particular focus with the loop images when they're looped? Yes, when her genitalia is exposed or naked. Now what I'm going to do is open the folder entitled Taking Bath 1, and I'm, I'm starting on image uh, five zeros. And image number two, do you recognize who that is? That's the older sister.
Detective Burke, to image 68, between image 0 and 68, what did that show generally? Um, it began with the older sister and then it went into, uh, as you see there, the younger sister in the bathtub and kind of as they're in the bathroom. Detective, images 68 through 104, uh, who do they show? Uh, the younger sister. And does she have clothing on in those pictures? No, she does not. Okay. Now, image 105 onward, who does that show? At that point, that the uh, older sister. Yes. Now, Detective, image 116, who does that show? <clears throat> the older sister. And then after image 116, there's there's an image titled 117 cropped. What does that image show? Um, I believe it's a, the same image, but everything else is taken out except for her naked body. The detective image. Uh, 118 through 143, what did they show in general? The older sister, as, uh, she's unclothed, I think was getting ready to bathe or was getting out of the bath. And then there's another image, image 144 cropped. What does that show? Again, it's the image ahead before that, but now everything's cut out except for her body. And these images that have been identified as cropped, is that something law enforcement did, or are these actual copies from the disc that was recovered from the defendant's house? It's actual copies, so law enforcement doesn't do that. Detective, we've gone from approximately image 144 to 200. In general, what did those images show? Uh, again, it was the older sister either prepping for a bath or getting dressed or ready for the day, but naked in the bathroom. Now we're moving forward from image 200. Um, are some of these images the, the loops you previously described earlier? Yes. <laughs> Detective, at some point we go from image 273 to image 4847. Uh, did that have any significance? No, it's just. Determined? I believe it's just the copy of how it was done. Okay. Did it appear to be the same? When, it, when the image numbers changed, did it appear to be the same uh, event or did it appear to be a different event to you? Um, I believe it's the same event, just further along. Detective, these images in the 4800 to 4900 range, what do they show? The older sister bathing, taking a shower, possibly. Detective, in the range of 4960 to 4970, is there, again, that looping that you previously described? Yes. Detective, now we're uh, around image 5000. What does that depict? Now there's uh, three females in the bathroom, older sister, younger sister, and I think it was maybe a friend. 
and it looks like maybe they're getting ready for um, either for school or just getting ready. And Detective, uh, image 5045 begins, it looks like a new series in the back, is that correct? Yes. <clears throat> Detective, we're now in the 5150 to 5160 range in the image numbers. Um, do you recognize which sibling that shows? Yes, that's the older sister. And, and again, is this similar looping that you previously described of, of previous images? Yes. Detective, we're, we're in the range of 55 to 40 or so, and it looks like there's an adult female in the photos. Um, do you recognize that person? Yes, I do. And did you ever, now we're at image 55, 57, um, do you recognize her? Yes. And did you ever contact that individual? Yes, I did. And are her initials DC? Yes. How were you able to determine who that person was in this series of images? the adult in the photos? It took a little bit of work, but we were able to, um, when we did a canvas of the neighborhood, once we saw these images, we kind of hit the houses that were in the neighborhood because they were um, trying to identify who these victims were. And at the time, um, we went to the house next door. It was, um, no one was home. We came back a later time and somebody was there, but they didn't have any uh, small girls. So we asked if we could come inside and uh, uh, just take a look to see if it matched up. And when we went upstairs, you could see as their house sat, uh, the defendant's house was directly to the, to the west of them, and the defendant's bedroom's window looked directly at that window. So they, oops, sorry, they lined up. And then looking, when we went upstairs into there, we could see uh, fixtures in the bathroom and everything that matched up with the images that we had looked at. And so based upon that, then we went back and were able to find the owner of the house and then we found out through database who had lived there at that time and then I went and contacted her. And surprisingly, she only lived about four blocks away. So it was... Okay. Mr. Yeah. Nelson, let me interrupt. We're going to take a brief recess and then we'll come back with Detective Sanders. Um, we'll turn the lights on first, and then we'll be in position.